My name is Brenda Nyachira. I'm a mother of three and a wife. Um, I'm an entrepreneur too. I started um, my business about four years ago. It was an idea that came out of um, after planning my wedding. I loved, I loved the experience so much, so I decided to um, start a business that helps brides to plan their weddings. So I started a platform on Instagram called East African Brides. Um, I realised that I got a huge following because people wanted to um, look at pictures of other brides and be inspired and also inspire others as well. So from that platform I also got another idea which is creating another platform, physical this time, for brides-to-be and grooms-to-be to meet with uh, wedding vendors. So um, this could be from photographers to people that make gowns and suits to caterers and um, hotels and honeymoon destinations as well. So last year we had an inaugural event at the Kigali Convention Center. Um, and we, I, I would say it was like successful because it was the first time um, that this event had actually occurred in Rwanda. Um, I also did, did not want to make it just Rwanda, I wanted to make it East African because it's common for Rwandan brides to um, find vendors from across the region, across um, the East African region. So it was meant to take place in um, February, the end of February, and Corona happened. <laughs> um, so I came here with my family to plan again, as usual, um, for, for the event. However, um, the crisis kept on getting worse, and you know a lot of vendors, for example, from the different parts of uh, Africa, were saying they were not able to travel, and that's when, that's when we realised, actually, this event won't happen at all because of what's happening. So my team and I sat down and uh, we realised, okay, actually, you know the virtual thing is taking off so perhaps maybe we should make it virtual so we decided to look for a virtual platform which we found um, and then uh, they basically told us that we could have everything that we have in the physical event for example the entertainment the MCs, um, the makeup classes the hair classes everything all of that we could have it on the virtual event and also we could have an aspect where exhibitors have um, virtual booths so people who are interested can come on the platform and go to a virtual booth and have like a one-on-one -on -one session with an exhibitor. Okay, it's a platform called um, 10 Times that we're hiring out. It's a virtual platform, so everything will happen on there. For example, the, the entertainers will be in their homes, but just recording with a laptop. I think the challenge is also now again, it's a new concept again that we're trying to explain to people. First it was explaining to them about the expo, and now it's explaining to them that actually you don't have to meet people physically, you can do it from your office. But you know, we're, we're better equipped this time. I think people are seeing that they really have no option. You know, you either sit back and not market for a whole year and not book potential clients, or you give this a chance, you try it. You know, we're guaranteeing um, every vendor to have a meeting with at least 15 brides-to-be. So we're doing a matchmaking service. So for every bride-to-be who um, subscribes to attend, we match them with a vendor. It's going to happen on the 27th to the 29th of August um, from 11 to 6 p.m. So if for more information, you can find it on our uh, website. It's eastafricanweddingshow.com. <laughs> I think if it, if it is successful, um, we'll do them more often. This one we could have it three times a year and maybe the physical once a year. So yes, that's the plan.